is a tough story to talk about. Uh, a horrifying and extremely graphic tragedy that played out in front of customers at a coffee shop. 19-year-old Kip Walker took to the stage in Oregon on Thursday, singing a song called Sorry for All the Mess at an open mic night. When he finished, he stood up and repeatedly stabbed himself in the chest. Trace Gallagher is live in our West Coast newsroom with what happened next on this. This, this is a tough, tough story, Trace. Awful for everybody involved, Martha. This is in Bend, Oregon at a coffee shop. As you said, open mic night. He actually played the keyboards and sang that song. And as the sheriff says, nobody's even quite sure where the knife came from, but the knife was a six-inch blade, a double-edged blade. And as you said, he took it and then repeatedly stabbed himself. And the, the audience at first was very baffled, some kind of broke into applause. I want you to listen to the owner of the coffee shop explain what happens next. Play this. It was really unclear, especially at first, what was even really happening because, you know, it is an open mic, it's a performance. Um, people at first thought it was some sort of theater. Theater, right? Or performance art. And then they finally realized what was happening when they saw the pool of blood and they saw Kip Walker collapse. That's when they all screamed and they ran to try and help him. We have now learned that Walker told his friends publicly that he was going to do this. So one of his friends called his parents. The parents got him some uh, psychotherapy, but he was shortly thereafter released from that. And then not long after is when he actually did this. An investigation, by the way, has not been launched into whether uh, he got enough psychiatric treatment. The reaction in Bend, Oregon has kind of been on both sides of the fence, Martha. Some are saying it's awful that he did this, and others are saying that it's outrageous that he did this, that he killed himself in front of all those people. And by the way, there were about 15 to 17 people inside that coffee house during that open mic night when he got up and repeatedly a stabbed himself for, uh, for everyone, for him, for his family, uh, and no. for the poor people who witnessed that. Uh, it's just a terrible story, and your hearts go out to uh, the poor, that poor young man and, and his family. Thank you very much, Trace, Trace Gallagher. Okay.